Hello everybody, Kevin here after 94 and uh, welcome back to the channel and today I am going to be talking about uh, my overall impression on the Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta. Uh, I know it's been like uh, last week or a few weeks a few weeks ago actually uh, since we played the beta, but I haven't gotten the time to uh, give my overall review on the beta, my impressions and what I like or what I didn't like about it and especially especially we're going to be talking about the ground war mode too since this is Call of Duty first attempt in making uh, a big uh, big player base uh, game mode. Uh, I know ground war has been around since uh, Call of Duty World at War but that only increased the player count to like 12 or 18 I believe at the time but this time we got 32 versus 32 and that is that, that is just massive. Essentially what you have here is Call of Duty trying to uh, pretty much try to co uh, copy the formula of Battlefield. And in a way uh, they, they, they did succeed although it doesn't really exactly work out like uh, Battlefield. Because obviously it is a Call of Duty game and Call of Duty has got to be you know different than Battlefield. Uh, so if you try to make it like Battlefield then it's not really Call of Duty anymore now is it though? <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm going to talk about my impressions on the beta and uh, it is on a new game engine and surprisingly uh, on this new game engine uh, it runs really good and uh, it looks good. It doesn't look the greatest in my opinion although it is just a multiplayer beta and usually multiplayer in Call of Duty in general the graphics definitely takes a huge visual downgrade compared to single player so uh, hopefully by the time we uh, uh, play the full game, a uh, single player will look absolutely amazing and hopefully they improve the visual on multiplayer too because there are some weird uh, visual glitches here and there like the anti-aliasing the, the anti doesn't really work that well, kind of makes the kind of makes the scope when you aim down the sights in general just makes things look a little bit too grainy in my personal taste so I don't know, they, might, they just should be able to fix that, hope to fix that. Uh, but yeah, I got to say, I'll be to, to be honest. This is a a solid Call of Duty uh, beta, as I to say. Uh, it plays good. It definitely feels like it plays like the old Call of Duty Four days. You know, back when nobody wasn't running around on you know walls, jumping from freaking uh, you know using little jump jets and all that bullshit. Like this is straight out boot from the ground. And I know Call of Duty loves to overuse that quote. They they overuse that in COD World War Two. And God, that game was awful. But Modern Warfare potentially can be a very good game. Uh, from what I played, from Team Deathmatch to Headquarters and Cyber Attack, uh, and uh, I haven't tried out Gunfight unfortunately. I should have tried that game mode out, but I didn't really have the time to play that mode. I was mostly focusing on Ground War and the standard game modes. But I gotta say though, it plays really good too. The gameplay, the gunplay is pretty solid. The netcode is a little bit iffy at some point. Uh, hopefully, get to, they'll be able to fix that netcode. But for out here, the, it is running a 60 hertz uh, tick rate, so. It should be pretty solid in terms of you know hit boxes, hits, and all that stuff. But unfortunately, I think this is either a rumor or it is true. But Ground War was running the was running 24 uh, uh, hertz tick rate, which is why it explains why the netcode is kind of more wonkier in Ground War compared to like the smaller game mode. So. Uh, hopefully by the time the game comes out, uh, Ground War will be running in uh, 64 tick rate because believe me guys, the tick rate makes a huge difference. If it's on 24 then yeah, you're going to notice a lot of delays, uh, getting killed behind walls, etc. Um, but 60 hertz is a lot more smooth and I really hope uh, Infinity War can get that out. But. But yeah, the gunplay, uh, the gameplay, it feels nicely. Uh, the movement system feels uh, fluid. I do like the new vote animation. And I also like uh, the the doors too that you can open them, close them. You can also, you know, when you aim your gun out, you can actually open the door silently, and that way you can give a little, a nice little murder hole potentially, or just overall just check your surroundings, see if there's anybody hiding behind the door. Uh, but just be aware, uh, people will see you open that door slowly if they are looking at that door. So keep that in mind. Uh, but it is a nice feature though, and uh, I think they copy most of this formula from Insurgency Sandstorm, which also is another great FPS shooter too. But uh, Infinity War does it in a really good job too, to the point that you know 
it makes you want to take a lot more slower. You know, it makes you want to take you know take some time to clear the room. You don't want to just rush in. Although it is a Call of Duty game, so everybody is just gonna you know, run and I'm gun. You know, I do it too most of the time too. But I do try to take my time from time to time, just you know not to run to like a fucking idiot and just get capped. Uh, but yeah, team deathmatch. Uh, it's just standard team deathmatch. Go around, kill each other. Whichever teams have the best kills uh, or have the most kills, pretty much win. Uh, but I have to say, I really enjoyed headquarters. Headquarters was a, a nice change. I don't think I, I haven't played headquarters mode, or I might have, but I don't remember playing that mode in the older Call of Duty games. But I know they had it. They had it, and uh, man, headquarters is. It's pretty good. It's like a combination of domination and uh, I guess I guess rush mode in a way, like from Battlefield. So pretty much, you capture this base, you hold it as long as you can, and as you capture base, you have to defend the site from being captured, and you only get one life until the capture point is you no know, is done. So it's like a little time limit too before you get you know, like the points from that capture point. But if the enemy captures the point, it's pretty much. Uh, that, that capture point is pretty much done and then the next capture point will be at a random spot and Everybody will respond to those who died. So it's a, it's a nice game mode. I really like it though uh, it, it can get a bit intense though. I have to say especially in that one uh, little that one map with the city uh, with the little towns uh, That one can get a bit tricky in the middle of the point because sometimes the middle the capture point will move right in the middle And that's where things get a little bit tricky but overall though, headquarters is probably my favorite and uh, realism also is pretty good too. Uh, essentially, it removes pretty much the entire hood besides your friendly hood. So the only thing you can see is pretty much nameplates for your friends, essentially your squad mates. But everything else is uh, no hood. So no crosshairs, no kill fees either. So when you get that kill, when you shoot somebody, you goddamn better make sure he's completely dead. Otherwise, he might come back and you know, cap you in the back. So realism mode definitely makes you want, definitely makes you think, uh, you know, think twice before you, you know, you move up or you try to shoot a guy from afar. So pretty much, this is the type of game mode that you might want to take your time on because it's a lot of, it's a lot of, there's a lot of camping in this game mode. I, 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 I won't lie though, there is a, there is a certain meta to this game mode, so it could get a little bit campy. Because you can have one team camp in one spot and then it gets pretty disgusting at that point. But other than that, realism mode is pretty cool though. I definitely more I definitely interested in trying out the game mode uh, more when the game comes out, especially the night maps. Ooh, night maps and realism mode. Ooh, good luck. But I really hope they you know to fix some of the weapon balances too. That makes you know that makes those guns in realism mode uh, pretty disgusting. So, but we we'll shall we we'll shall see what happens. And uh, there is another game, new game mode called Cyber Attack. Uh, essentially, this is a competitive style game mode. That, you know, you pretty much capture the, you get a, a bomb briefcase, and you essentially gotta plant it uh, on this site to win. But the enemy team can do that to you. So essentially, it's kind of like CS:GO in a way. If you guys play CS:GO, or uh, in that type of Pacific, or just Siege, it, uh, it's pretty much it plays just like that. It's 5v5, very, very competitive, very intense, so it can get a bit get a bit intense, I have to say. Cyber Attack is it's pretty good. It's a nice addition to Call of Duty, but it's okay, it's not to say. <laughs> it's not the type of game mode I'll probably play every day, but it's not bad though. It's pretty cool though. It has a nice twist to it. You know, you really you feel like you want to you know, be ultra try hard, then that's the type of game mode for you. But other than that, guys, let's talk about the main entree. The ground war mode. What I think about it? Uh, well, my overall impressions was not really. I was not really that impressed on the modern warfare ground war mode. Like it has, it has a, it, it, it has the potential of being really good, but in its current state, from what I've experienced, it needs a lot of polish. It needs a lot of work. Like this, like some of the capture uh, flag points doesn't really make sense in this map. They literally condense all the flag capture point into into the middle of the map, and there's like other other areas of the map that you know could see some more light to it, but there's no flag there, so you got almost everybody finally literally in the middle of the freaking base, and it's a little bit a little bit annoying because nobody else is going for the other flag base, and even, especially your team, if they don't decide to capture other bases around it, around that, around the center, then yeah, it's pretty much 
a GG essentially. Like your team is not gonna win if you decide to just to camp in one fucking site. But it's okay. Uh, they definitely need to work. Definitely need to do a lot of work on it. That's for sure. Because, like to be honest, I'm not. I'm not really impressed. Like. I might be biased here because I, I do play a lot of Battlefield and coming from the Battlefield franchise I expect a, you know, I did expect the ground war mode to be a little bit more like Battlefield but that is not the case. It's essentially a larger version of TDM essentially. You got you got flags to the capture but most of the time uh, if you play with randoms, those guys won't even bother touching those flags. So it, it's over, I don't know, there's something about it that's just not that great. And also, uh, it's not really stable too. I did had uh, four hard crashes to the point I had to restart my computer. Not sure why. It plays for a while and then the whole thing just freezes and it, the game, the whole game essentially will die. Like I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that gets this, but I had it f happen to me four times in a row. I tried to have a good round of you know ground war, and then the game decided to take a shit and. I had to restart the whole computer at that point. It's really freaking goddamn frustrating. So, I'm really hope they get they can get ground war a little bit more stable. And uh, also, the the net code is a lot worse too in ground war. So, uh, like I say, it's just rumors, but it, there is rumors that ground war was running on 24 hertz tick rate. So that's probably why the net code is a little bit wonky. So, hopefully, they'll be able to fix that and make the game mode running in uh, 60 hertz because it's it's definitely needed because the net code is is god awful. And let's talk about the kill streaks in uh, ground war. My God, I think. Killstreak kind of ruins the the flow, the whole flow of that game mode entirely. Like you'd be constantly being spammed by UAVs and cruise missile and gunship. Everybody can summon all of those, and it's just fucking frustrating. It's to the point that you don't even need to hide anymore. You just look, it, you can just look in the mini map, and then you'll find those guys hiding in the area that you you know that you're going there, or going towards. But I don't know. The kill streak definitely ruins the. The whole game mode entirely because you got too many people calling UV. You constantly have the announcer, you know, saying UV is online or you know, cruise missile online, blah blah blah, etc. It's to the point that you can't even hear what's going on in your surroundings. Like there could be a guy coming right behind you, about to stab you, you know, about to stab you in the back, and you won't know because you got a guy in your fucking ear yelling, "Oh, UV is online!" So they need to turn that shit down. Like I think they should have kill streak, but they should limit what kind of kill streak they they put in, or I don't know, maybe have it like a system where you only have the squad leader, you know, call it in the kill streak. But a lot of call, call you know, a lot of Call of Duty community, uh, players probably would not like that. But you know, it's my personal opinion, so it's up to Infinity Warrior to want to add that stuff in it. But I don't know, but. I am very impressed that they managed to make a 64 player game mode all in one and also crossplay too. Crossplay is probably one of the biggest highlights for this uh, for this beta because no other big triple A company ha hasn't done crossplay in like a long time. Like you got Gears 5 uh, that ha that allows crossplay between Xbox and PC players, but now you got Modern Warfare, you got PlayStation 4, Xbox, and PC players all all playing together now. So now you don't have to buy, you know, you know, don't have to wait for, you know, you, you can just buy a Call of Duty game and play with your friends. You don't have to be that type of guy, oh shit. My friend has Call of Duty, but he has an Xbox, and I got a PlayStation. But Modern Warfare, you can play with your friends anywhere, and I love that. And the chat works too, so you can you can you can get smack talk by twelve year olds soon uh, now. So <laughs> there's that, but it's pretty cool though. Crossplay is really really cool. Like I think more game companies need to do more crossplay in the future because yeah, I think that is the future. Like you need to have people you know playing together, and that way the you know the game will flourish. You know. A little bit longer. A lot of people, you know, keep playing it a little bit longer that way too. And uh, really looking forward to Modern Warfare though. But yeah, Ground War, not really impressed. I am very really impressed that they managed to get, you know, 64 players in one map. And uh, the overall look of the map is not bad. Level design, they need to definitely revamp that because it needs a lot of fixing. Oh, I also forgot to mention they need to really fix the spawn system too because the spawn system is probably the worst I've ever seen. So. In like one of the sea capture point in ground war, uh, there were people would literally spawn 
in this one same spot and people can literally just camp there and just cap them right there. It's fucking disgusting. Like the spawn system needs to be absolutely fixed. And I think the vehicle's controls could use some work too, and uh, the turret too, because the turret, the crosshair is not really aligned properly, so they definitely need to align the crosshair properly with the turret, so that way you'd be hitting where you're looking at instead of have to aim a little bit down to hit high. Like that shouldn't have to be. But uh, yeah, overall though, I, I did enjoy Modern Warfare, and I'm definitely looking forward to the full game and the new maps that it comes with too, and perhaps new weapons too. And I'm definitely looking forward to the campaign because I think the campaign is going to be freaking awesome. But we shall see guys. Uh, but overall though, I'm very impressed with the Modern Warfare beta. I really enjoy it. I, I am liking the new direction they're going with. I, yeah, I'm liking that they're going back to the Modern, uh, the modern Warfare type of era. So you get modern weapons and all that stuff instead of futuristic bullshit. Like, I really appreciate it for it. Infinity War, you know, Activision Jones just got, you know, you know, taking a step back from that, from that futuristic sense, because, you know, I'm pretty sick of it for Call of Duty now, and that's the reason why I avoided Black Ops 4, and also that game is kind of garbage too, so. <laughs> Here's quite some fingers that Modern Warfare would be a great game. I have a feeling the campaign is going to be great, but for multiplayer, we're just going to have to see for like, you know, three months or so, just to see, you know, fuck it up with, you know, pay to win loot box. That is just a rumor, apparently, but. If they do add pay to win loot box, then I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. But we shall see. Uh, I'm definitely more. I'm definitely interested in playing the main game when it comes out. And uh, if you guys have tried out the better, uh, uh, you guys should let me know or what you, you know opinions on the Modern Warfare better in the comments down below. I would like to hear you guys' thoughts and what you guys like, what you didn't like. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you guys didn't, then hit the dislike button. It's all to you. But yeah, uh, that's my impression on the Modern Warfare beta. Uh, I'll probably give it a 7 out of 10. Like, it's, it's good, but it's nothing really special. It still plays like COD, so if you're familiar with COD, then go for it. But I do like the new direction going, making it a little bit more realistic, a little bit more tactical. Like, I think that needs, I think that, I think that's the main one of the main reasons why I came back to Call of Duty because they're going to make it a little bit more like tactical and realistic compared to make it all die. arcadey shoot, no, an arcade shooter, arena style shooter. Like I really appreciate that they're going back to that well. Okay. But like I say, it's too early to say if yeah, this is gonna suck ass crash. or not. We shall see. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the game. Uh, I would honestly, I would just wait for reviews <laughs> before you buy this game. And like, like I say. We don't know if loot boxes are coming in. More likely, there will be market transaction because it's you know it's Antivision. There's no season pass too, so there will be market transaction. But I just really hope they don't add the fucking pay to win bullshit. Cause that would be stupid as hell. But we shall see. I'm looking forward to the game, and uh, yeah, that's all I got today for this review for Modern Warfare Better. And until then, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.